Welcome to our back paddock, soon to become a food forest. And this is food related. So ever since we moved into this property, we've been running sheep in this paddock and our lower paddock. But we now wanna move into a food forest scenario where we wanna plant up this whole back paddock with a variety of fruit and perennial food that we can eat all year round. Now we're aiming for something once it's established that's gonna be fairly low maintenance and it's gonna give us some food all year round. We wanna think about our food security and in our current kind of global climate, this is definitely a hot topic. So we're quite fortunate because we've got free draining volcanic soil, but it is a little bit acidic. So we're gonna do some more soil testing and figure out what, what kind of amendments we need to make to our soil. As you can see, we've got some kaikuia here. So when we think about layering up our beds, we're gonna to need to think about having thick layers to kill back that kaikuia. So our site has full sun and has some protection in the form of these trees and hedges from the neighbors, but this is quite a high wind zone. So we're gonna to have to consider that when we're planting some of our fruit trees to make sure they're semi-protected as they get established. So before we even consider doing this journey, this food forest journey, we did a simple soil test, which uh, showed that the soil was slightly more acidic than neutral on our pH scale. So we estimated somewhere between five and six, but in the next video, we're gonna do a more detailed soil test. You can already probably notice we've got some compost behind us and we've got some post peelings as well to act as our mulch. So we are kind of prepping uh, to amend this soil as we go when we create our beds. I'm pretty sure we're gonna to have to add some other things to the soil, maybe some lime to bring the pH up, but watch this space, that'll all become clear in the next video. So one of the other main reasons of us creating this food forest is to move away from that monoculture kind of agriculture where we're just growing one thing and we're having to then use chemicals to get rid of pests and bugs. So what I'm gonna to try to apply and I'm learning as I go is those permaculture principles where we've got a whole system working together in an organic fashion. So what we do love is hearing from passionate people with ideas. So we're hoping that as we go, people are gonna be able to comment and give us advice as we go uh, and help mold this landscape for us. We have a plan and the planting plan, as you can see here, is a rough draft. And we try to apply as many permaculture principles as possible, um, thinking about our plant grouping and there's gonna be a lot more plants added to this plan as we go. So over the next few months, we're hoping to bring you a, a series of videos documenting our journey and our learning as we go in this area of our back paddock, creating what we hope is gonna be a really productive food forest. So if you like this video, smash the thumbs up. If you're new and you wanna continue following this journey, hit that subscribe button. We hope to see you back here soon.